show you how to make this really easy cheesy sausage and cabbage casserole. Okay, so you're going to need two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. I actually have a bit more than that here. Now the recipe calls for one medium head of green cabbage that's been quartered, cored, and sliced. Uh, but she also says it's about a pound, or 453 grams, once sliced. Uh, so Maestro actually doesn't sell whole cabbage, uh, and they certainly don't have any medium-sized ones. What they do is they take the largest ones and quarter them and sell them that way. So this is a quarter of a large one. Uh, or you can also buy half of a small one. This one actually weighs probably about 600 grams, so it's actually more than a pound anyway. Okay, then you're going to need one yellow capsicum that we're going to chop. One cup of chopped onion, so I've just got a pretty large one here. Four cloves of minced garlic, and I'm just using stuff that's already minced. Sea salt and black pepper to taste. One can of diced tomatoes. And then it says a cup and a half of crushed tomatoes, which is probably pretty close to that whole can anyway. 14 ounces, or about 400 grams, of smoked sausage. Now I'm using a double smoked Kransky here, but any smoked sausage will do. We're going to cut those in half lengthwise and then slice them into half moons. You will need one and a half cups of cheese. It suggests mozzarella, but your favorite cheese is just fine. And lastly, a quarter cup of Italian flat leaf parsley that's been roughly chopped, or any fresh herb that you've got on hand. Okay, so I've got the oven preheating. You're going to want 400 Fahrenheit, or about 204 Celsius. Take your cabbage, now if it's a whole one, cut it in quarters already. And then you're going to want to remove that tough core. From there, I'm just going to slice it. So I'm going to go once or twice this way. And then just go against the grain that way. And just chop it all up. Okay, so next you want to chop up your bell pepper or capsicum. And it just says chop, so I'm just going to probably go with maybe little bite-sized pieces like that. Whatever works for you. Okay, so I've also cut the onion, as you can see, just diced. So we'll mix that in now. I've got all my veggies together in this bowl. So I've got a large skillet, and it's preheated over medium heat. To that, we're going to add your olive oil. That was two tablespoons. Just and your two tablespoons of butter. And we want to let that melt. Okay, so the butter's all melted into the oil, so now I'm going to add the four cloves of garlic. Just stir that in for a sec. And then right away we're going to add those chopped vegetables. So that looks pretty full, but it will cook down. Now we're also going to add the salt and pepper to taste. And just carefully mix that in. Now you're going to want to sort of saute this until the vegetables are crisp tender and your cabbage is starting to wilt. About 10 minutes. So while the veggies are cooking, I'm going to start cutting the sausages. Now you want to cut them down lengthwise through the middle first. And then we're just going to slice it into half moons. So, and do that with all of them. Okay, so that's been 10 minutes. And I did sample the bell pepper or capsicum there, and it is crisp tender. And as you can see, my cabbage is wilted down a bit nicely. So now we're going to add the diced tomatoes and one and a half cups of crushed tomatoes, which did end up being the whole can for me. Your can sizes may vary, though. We'll also add in the smoked sausage at this time, and just carefully stir that in, and we're going to let it cook for another 10 minutes. Okay, so that's been 10 minutes and it's bubbling away. I'm going to remove that from heat. Okay, so now we're just going to transfer that mixture to a large casserole dish. I'll just use um, your spatula or whatever you've got to spread it out and try and level the top. Now you want to sprinkle the cheese over the top. Now we're just going to pop that in our preheated oven for 15 minutes. That's been 15 minutes. Just be very careful, it's very bubbly. You can see it's nicely golden brown. Now you can see it's quite bubbly. We're going to leave it sit a few minutes before we serve, but the last step is to sprinkle on the chopped parsley 
or whatever herb you've decided to use. I actually had some fresh basil on hand, so that's what I'm using. So there it is, cheesy sausage and cabbage casserole. Quick and easy, and I hope you enjoy it.